Did you know most homeowners insurance policies don't automatically include coverage for water backup, mold coverage, replacement costs on your personal belongings, or service line coverage? Just to name a few. Grab something to take notes with. You'll want to talk to your insurance agent after this video. Welcome back, Jess here. Today, we're gonna to talk about many different endorsement coverages on your home insurance policy that you likely don't have unless you ask to include these coverages at the time you bought your insurance policy. If you're a homeowner like me, you know the importance of having a comprehensive insurance policy that protects your home and your stuff if something happens. So we're gonna list a few endorsements that you haven't thought of that you can add to your home insurance policy to be properly protected. The first endorsement we're gonna talk about is water backup coverage. Water backup coverage is a type of insurance protection that covers property damage caused by water backing up through a sewer, a drain, or a sump pump. This coverage helps in situations where water or sewage from the main sewer system or septic tank backs up into your home, causing damage to floors, walls, furniture, appliances, any of your personal belongings. The main causes of water backup are usually heavy rainfall, blockages in the sewer line, or a malfunctioning sump pump. Water backup coverage can assist in paying for the cost of cleanup, repairs, and replacing damaged items. Remember, the coverage will be limited to the specified coverage amount you choose on the policy. The most common coverage options are 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, or 50,000. Make sure you understand the specific coverage limits, exclusions, and the deductible amount associated with your water backup coverage because these vary among different insurance companies. Number two, let's talk mold coverage. Most standard homeowners insurance policies offer limited coverage for mold damage. But if you live in a humid climate, you can increase this coverage limit. Mold coverage typically covers mold remediation costs if the mold resulted from a covered peril on your policy. A covered peril might be a pipe burst or sudden water damage from a covered source like a storm or an accidental appliance leak. Let's talk about extended dwelling replacement costs. This is another optional endorsement you can add to your policy, and it's an endorsement that provides additional protection beyond the dwelling coverage limit on your home insurance policy. It helps cover the cost of rebuilding or repairing your home, even if the expenses exceed the policy's coverage limit. In a standard homeowner's insurance policy, the dwelling coverage limit specifies the maximum amount the insurance company will pay to repair or rebuild your home in the event of covered damage. However, construction costs can fluctuate and in the case of severe damage or a widespread disaster, rebuild costs might surpass the policy's coverage limit. For instance, if your policy has a dwelling coverage limit of $300,000 and a covered event results in the $350,000 cost to rebuild or repair your home, extended replacement cost coverage may cover a percentage, like 125% or 150% beyond the policy limit. Your coverage will depend on the specific terms of the policy and coverage endorsement you selected. This coverage ensures that you have the financial resources to rebuild your home to its previous state or replace it with a similar structure, even if the current market value or replacement cost exceeds the original policy limits. It's an important endorsement to consider. All right, let's talk about number four, service line coverage endorsement. Service line coverage helps protect against repair or replacement costs associated with the damage to the underground service lines on your property that connect your home to public utility lines. Think water pipes, sewer lines, electrical lines, gas lines, internet or cable lines. Covered perils may include wear and tear, corrosion, freezing, tree root invasion, accidental damage from construction work, and other unexpected events that cause damage to these underground lines if you have this endorsement on your policy. This coverage usually covers expenses related to excavation, repair, replacement, and restoration of your property affected by the damaged service lines. 
which may also include costs for temporary repairs or living expenses if your home becomes uninhabitable due to the damage. Number five, let's talk about personal injury liability protection endorsement. This refers to an added coverage option that extends your homeowner's insurance liability protection beyond physical injuries to include coverage for non-physical injuries or damages that you or a family member may cause to others. This coverage can include libel or slander. If you unintentionally make defamatory statements or spread false information that harms someone's reputation, this coverage might help protect you. It could cover false arrest and detention or imprisonment. If you wrongfully detain someone or they claim false imprisonment, this endorsement may provide coverage. It may also provide coverage for invasion of privacy if you are sued for invasion of privacy, including unauthorized publication of private information or intrusion into someone's private affairs. This endorsement might offer coverage. It could also offer coverage potentially for malicious prosecution. If someone accuses you of maliciously and wrongfully prosecuting them, this coverage may provide protection. Okay, number six, let's talk about personal property replacement cost coverage. This endorsement provides coverage for your personal belongings or possessions at their current replacement cost value rather than actual cash value. Standard homeowner's insurance policies provide coverage for personal property based on their actual cash value, which considers depreciation. When an item is damaged, the insurance company pays for its value at the time of loss, but factors in depreciation. However, if you have the personal property replacement cost coverage endorsement, items are covered at their current replacement cost without deducting for depreciation. Number seven, let's talk about identity theft coverage. Identity theft coverage, also known as identity fraud expense coverage, is a feature or endorsement that can be added to a homeowner's insurance policy to provide financial protection and assistance in case you become a victim of identity theft. If you experience identity theft, this coverage typically helps reimburse you for expenses incurred while resolving the theft. These expenses might include costs related to restoring your identity, such as fees for reapplying for loans, legal fees, notary costs, and certified mailing costs. It could also potentially cover lost wages due to the time you have to take off to address this major issue. Insurance providers often offer identity theft coverage as an endorsement to their policy. Oftentimes, services might be included with that coverage, like credit monitoring, identity theft resolution services, and guidance through the steps necessary to restore your identity. During a stressful time dealing with identity fraud, it's peace of mind knowing you have a resource for help. Well, friends, that wraps up this initial guide to additional endorsements you should consider for your homeowner's insurance policy. We've covered a wide array of options from standard to specialized endorsements but there are so many more. So look out for part two video coming soon. And don't forget to talk to your insurance agent to find out if you have these coverages and the cost to add them to your policy. Remember, our insurance needs evolve over time. So periodic reviews and discussions with your agent are super important to making sure you have the coverages that you want. What other insurance topics do you want to know more about? What was your biggest takeaway from today's video? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, bye friends.